Ready for a piece of shit trailer? That's a you don't know it's bad. I, I'm preparing it's, for the worst. It's you know, just as I always have to do with Marvel. Once again, Marvel's brought out another trailer, which is Thor. Listen, he's, he's, he's listen, it's Thor, all right. He's good. He's he got, fun. Okay, yeah. so we got the first trailer. He's, he's got so much character development. Too. All right, so we got the first. Tra- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's we get the first trailer to Thor Ragnarok. Um, okay, well, uh, I've already seen it. He hasn't, and I just I've been waiting. I just this told moment. him to prepare himself so I can be ready for this. Uh, better, but yeah, 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 I'm yeah. He's so I'm ready. I, yeah, I, he's ready to go. He didn't like the last two Thors. I mean, like the first one had Loki in it, so that's something. That's this one has Loki in it. Yeah, but he's like being dad. No, it's weird because y- they, y'all see. Oh god, they just fuck. They're just like fuck it. We're just gonna change everything. Yeah. Why All is right. Thor have short hair? I don't get it. I'll get ready. There's a reason. Did he just shave his head. No, and... no, get oh, ready. God, zoom in. Uh, could you just let me play the trick? Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> or do you don't like it? No. Okay. Are they gonna kill Thor? Yes, do it. I don't know what you're thinking. How did this happen? I mean, you know, uh, get ready. It's a long story. Oh, good. It's a long story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. You need the real one. <coughs> yeah, alright. It's the job, guys. Asgard is dead. <coughs> I like what she's doing. Let's go to this. Do you like the fucking music? Yeah. Look. Shoot. So the alien taking him. What are you rushing to do? Tell me. A contender. Oh, God. Uh, look at it. <laughs> then look. It's main event time. She looks just harder. I'll get ready. Lick it. <laughs> Look at how epic this feels. It's got the Hulk in the roar. We know each other. He's a friend from work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, 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 that was something. I'll say that. All right. So, um, so, so, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy with Thor. I feel even the title looked like very. It was. It was Guardians. It was Guardians <laughs> three, but with Thor and Hulk. They're like, oh my god, the success of Guardians is so great. Let's make every movie Guardians of the Galaxy now. So here's my main question. Here's my main question, all right? <clears throat> so, if you see the villain there is Hela, right? Yes. And she's Loki's uh, daughter. Cool. So, uh, their issue would be trying to explain how Loki's had a daughter this whole time, and no one knew. You know what? They're just going to be like, here's a villain in action. Fuck character development. She's or just... or they're going to make her not interesting and have her not be Thor's daughter. I mean, uh, Lo- Loki's, Loki's daughter. daughter. She, they probably won't. They probably won't. She looks like she could be Loki's daughter. I will say that. That's though. that's why she's green. Yeah, because it's supposed to look like Loki. But I don't think they're gonna. I feel like the the it's gonna be mindless action and the character shit is gonna be bullshit. Because every other villain has been fucking underdeveloped as fuck for Thor. Oh, by the way, except I'm for all Loki, because he's not. Yeah. He wasn't started out as a villain. Oh, yeah, and they changed Loki's helmet. If you notice, yeah. So now his hair is sticking out. It's stupid as fuck. Just give him his fucking normal helmet. What the fuck? Also, Why? I thought he was Odin. Yeah, I thought he was Odin. <laughs> Why, is he too? Why is he not Odin now? What the fuck? <laughs> they forgot about it. There is a... Oopsie! It's connected, though. Yeah, it's I feel like, I'm, feel like I'm watching a fucking cartoon. <laughs> of course, you know, Thor gets his hair cut for God knows what reason. Because in a gladiatorial ring, they can pull your hair. You don't want to play that. He's a warrior. It's so stupid. He's a warrior. So Majolner is broken? All right, cool. Give him a real weapon now, like an axe. That's way better. Or give him a bigger fucking hammer. Just give him so an axe. Sick. An axe is better. It does blood. 
We need blood. Well, listen, it's blunt force, so you don't have to show blood. Blood. You need blood. <laughs> Give it something. That's okay, not like. Okay, seriously though, how the fuck did they find Hulk? I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah. And Age of Ultron, he left in a plane. What did this guy just did fucking? He just come up and be like, oh look, it's a grip. Let's just teleport him to. I guess he flew into fucking space and fell asleep, and the like ship shot down, and then they were just like, oh. Look, Here's Hulk conveniently in space. Let's take him. Okay, I know this is kind of wishful thinking, but they better explain Hulk. They won't. They, they won't. won't. He's just there. They won't explain anything. They'll have like a shit ex explanation for why this villain is a villain. And they probably won't even make our Loki's garden. If they do, it'll be like, oh, before the first movie, he like fucked the girl quickly. And then bam. Well, the whole point of Loki's, here's the thing is, so Loki's daughter is basically a fucking Hades. Yeah. Greek mythology, so she's the underworld. So like whenever Loki dies, just I heard this. Um, yeah. You know, whenever Loki dies, yeah, she uh, brings him back. Yeah, she. That's does. that's the whole point of yeah. her being there. Yeah, she's a really cool character in the comics, right? right? And right. I mean, they made her look like 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 she kind of does in the comics and all that jazz. Sort of. But I mean, uh, please seriously, give her a story. That would be uh, nice. See, I'm please so... don't be, turn into Malekith or whatever the fuck his name was. I, I do like how. Like, if you look in the trailer, like, all of Asgard just gets butt-fucked. Yeah, that, that's cool. I'm glad to see that, because it's fun. Oh, by the way, thank you for being in... Th okay, by the way, thank you for being in Asgard. Yes, thank you for actually having the Thor movie placed in Asgard and not Earth. And the last two movies were placed on Earth. And it's fucking annoying as shit. You like it on Just get Idris Elba to be the hero of this one, please. Just was Thor dies... And Idris Elba takes, like, over the mantle and becomes the new Thor. Please. But he was there. He's a much better he had a long character. Hair and he was fighting people in a forest. Just make him main character. I don't care. <laughs> and where's Thor's little group in this one? They're all dead. They didn't make the cut? They're all dead. Maybe because they're bland and boring as fuck? I have a sword. I have a hammer. <laughs> Great. <laughs> No. Oh, can Marvel develop characters, please? They're not going to. They're not going to develop any of this character, this villain. I like. To she could be such a badass. I'd like to point out that this movie starts out with Thor in hell, so I feel like he loses the fight with Hulk. I, I'm just going to go completely, like, say, he's in the underwater right now, chained up. I feel like Hulk kicked his ass. <laughs> I don't, have his hammer. I don't see why he wouldn't. <laughs> it's fucking Hulk. He can't be killed by Thor. <laughs> and Thor doesn't even have the hammer, though. That's, that's his one thing that he needs. You take, you take the one thing that makes Thor even almost, like, remotely sort of possibly cool. <laughs> now, I like how they break Thor's hammer, but they don't break Captain America's shield. Yes. Bullshit. <laughs> They will, of course. It's supposed to break an age of Ultron. You know? Yeah. That's supposed to be the big... No! It's no. just a fucking... Fucking vision. Dream. It's, dr it's a dream! Yeah, but, I, you know, so basically what we're saying is the trailer, how this trailer structured looks like Guardians of the Galaxy. The <coughs> copious amounts of aliens looks like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, there's some good parts in it with some, like, medieval-ass combat that I like, but mm -hmm. most of it just kind of seems like AIDS, and feels, it feels like a Hulk is there for no reason. Here's where it loses out a lot for me, the fact that it's not even trying to be unique anymore. Before, it was like, okay, at least Thor's trailers look like Thor's trailers. Now it looks like Now it's just like, they're just trying to piggyback off of Guardians, yeah. and that loses a lot of points for me. Like, a lot. But watch. That just watch when this gets released, it'll be the best Thor movie yeah. ever made. Yeah, because so many as Well, Natalie Portman's on it, so you know, it's already oh. better. Yeah, I know. Fuck. But anyways, uh, I moment. think we should rate this bitch. Alright, you go first, because I'm thinking... Well, for me, um... See, see, for me, Thor isn't like, like Spider-Man and stuff. So, I didn't expect much. So my rating is probably gonna reflect that I didn't I didn't have high hopes for it at all. I don't really care that there's a Thor movie coming out. So I mean, as it looks now, I'd probably give it like a fucking four, uh, because I mean, at least they stay in Asgard and shit like that. I, I'm just I just don't really care at all about Thor, and and that's it really. Good. Like that's uh, that's I'm not. See, the thing is, if I rated any lower, it would be like that I cared about it, and I don't. Yeah, I see. So, it's kind of just like, eh. Okay, for me, it was going to be like a 5 out of 10, but they ripped off Guardians too much, and they're just piggybacking off it. So, it's going down to a 4. I agree with you, 4. It would have been a 5, but they're just they're just trying to sponge off the success of Guardians and make everything even happier, because it's not already happy and boring. Uh, also, um, also uh, Alcatraz uh, says the one scene where... Uh, Hulk appears and Thor is like, that's my friend from work, is the most cringiest scene he's ever seen in a Marvel trailer. 
so bad. The, he said that, basically, I'm speaking on behalf of him, he said he hates it because the scene's supposed to be epic. Yeah. Like Thor's a fight Hulk, and he's like, Oh, it's, it's, it's my friend, we're like, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Yeah, when there's any tension that's happening, he's like, oh shit, I gotta fight the Hulk. No, I'm just make a joke. Fuck you, all fans. Fuck you. You wanted your tension for Hulk fighting Thor? No, nope, you didn't get it. Fuck oh, and that's become a meme, by the way. Of course it has. Of course it fucking has. What is the meme? If there's today? one thing that Marvel's good at, it's making memes. Fucking done with this shit. Like, like child friendly memes. But yeah, all in all, like, seriously, this is why are people upset? It's fucking, it's a meme in itself. Hopefully, that, uh, you know what? Hopefully. I'm hoping that it's the best out of the Thor movies. But I am too. The but standard is so low. It is. After the second movie, holy fuck. With Malekith? You can literally, with Thor, you can, like, only go higher. No, you could still go lower. Or you could say the same. You could kill Loki off. Or you could forget the plot thread where he's Odin. Yeah, that, that's that's kind of, you know, a plot! That's nah, the, these movies aren't connected. Yeah, they're not connected. It's not like it's called the MCU, the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's All it. Alright, well, I'm Anarchy bringing the chaos. Fuck this trailer, as I said at the beginning. And, I, and I'm Goblin in Green. Also, this trailer looks like AIDS.